the type of the password is going to be numeric. So you can't set it to alphanumeric. I was just saying that. So I'm going to crank this up. Um, my hard drive light's still going off. I, 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 that search injector drives me crazy. I know it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to nail me here in a little bit. I had a delay start. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to cut back that indexing service. I mean, it's, at this point, it seems like um, Vista had better control over the indexing services when it came to power management and uh, not just hogging up the CPU, I mean, the I.O. Um, for that. I mean, there's tools that you can use to, uh, to figure out what's using it. Like, there's a Prosec Explorer. It used to be uh, System Internals. And I think Microsoft has it now, so that's uh, that's that right there. Um, if you look on Microsoft site or under Sys internals, they call it, you can find this, and then you can sort the processes by I/O and figure out which one's using heavy I/O, and that that's probably the one that that's hitting the hard drive. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, here's Extreme Tune. Uh, a few things I'd mention about this is it's got profiles that you can save and you know it's got all these fancy settings like save on exit here I actually can't do anything right now because my hard drives going off um, but it did open um, and it's got all these settings like apply hardware settings on e an exit um, you want to change that to do not run <laughs> um, you can do other things like you can show you know on screen display you can show the clocks the speed of the clocks, which I'm going to do that, and uh, it, I actually it's not responding right now because of the hard drive. Like I was saying, that that indexing service, so it's going to come back here in a little bit, and I'll be able to finish clicking on the other stuff. It, it's just it just drives me crazy, but I mean, I like the search feature, and I really can't live without it. So I'm willing to bear the 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 boot problem. <laughs> There's the uh, iPhone um, app monitoring thing, and you can change a password. And like I said, it only accepts numeric passwords. You know what? Don't even change the password. Just use one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't ever change the password. Just leave it like that. If you want to connect your, you know, your your computer to your iPhone so you can watch the uh, stats on your iPhone, just use the default password. Don't change it. It's just worthless. I mean, it's in plain text in the registry, anyways. Just don't change it. Just leave it. All right, so you things you want to remember: do not run, and you know the the password thing and whatever on screen it plays that you want, and on screen to plays uh, displays that you want when you're running a game or something. So you hit OK. Another thing um, is that doesn't seem to work with this is saving profiles and loading profiles. What I end up having to do is just remember what the clock settings that I did if I overclocked what the settings were. So I just store that in a little file and I just look at the file and every time I use this program I just set it up again the exact same way. So the first one I have set up is 700 so I overclocked it to uh, 700 so I keep clicking until I get to 700. It's not actually doing it right now. You have to hit apply in order for it to happen. <coughs> And then the memory frequency, I set to 1848. So I'm just actually going to drag it over somewhere around that neighborhood, then hit plus and minus to get to where I want to be. Uh, this tool does work, but like I said, it don't don't try and use the profiles. Just set it manually every time, and make sure it doesn't save settings on exit, and it doesn't run automatically, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Um, there was a there was a review on this particular card that uh, that said what they overclocked it to, and I've got the shortcut to that page. So they went at Guru3D.com. They reviewed this card, and it seemed like they got their sample was uh, was different from the than than the one that I got. I didn't get a sample. I actually got a retail product. Um, so their sample actually had the memory up to 38, which I mean you have to divide it by two in order to figure out what it's supposed to be on the uh, the overclocking thingy. Um, the one I've got is over here. They ended up successfully, at least what they said, they ended up successfully overclocking it 
with these settings. I tried these settings, it didn't work. Okay, so um, somewhere less of this will probably work, but I, I definitely would not try and make these settings on on the Razer video card. So just you know, if you're if if it comes up and you're and you're fine with what game performance you have, just leave it alone. You know what I mean? I I'm not very going up very high on mine anyways. So so anyways, I got a set there. I'm gonna hit apply, and it's gonna apply it. Um, there, so settings successfully apply. At this point, you should still be able to see your display <laughs> if it worked. <laughs> that article, let me actually let me bring that article back up. So it, it tells you what kind of things to look for if it doesn't work. And I just want to show you the link. Hopefully, it'll come up and it'll focus on it. It looks like it's, yeah, there we go. Ah, come on, come on. Uh, it's too bright. There we go. Yeah, so Guru 3D, they have a KFA Galaxy uh, Razor Review da -da 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 article. And in the article, it was published on uh, January 14th, I guess, 2011. Um, so yeah, they go over this whole this whole, this whole video card. So that's that was, that was quite uh, informative. And now I'm going to close that article down. And I'm just going to minimize the HD tuner because if you don't if you don't minimize it, you're not going to see the on-screen display where it shows it's overclocked and the frame rate and all that other good stuff. So um, just minimize it. You know, close out your little text file where you stored the overclocking settings. Don't ever don't ever save profile or save hardware settings on exit or have it automatically start. Don't ever do any of that stuff because you'll just it just won't set it right initially. I don't know why. Maybe I don't. I'm not an overclocking expert, it just doesn't work right for me. So, my hard drive light's still going off. I'm going to try and play a game anyways to show you uh, that Extreme Tune uh, um, little dealy in the left hand corner. <coughs> I'll just show you that it does work. Uh, let's see, what should I try? Oh, let's try Dirt 2, that sounds good. So I'm double clicking on Dirt 2. Like I said, I'm still indexing. It's still indexing the computer files. And I'm not doing really doing anything. I'm not even sure if I double clicked on Dirt 2 now actually. Because of the delay, eventually this stops. <laughs> and yeah, everybody's thinking maybe like, ah, oh, you should get a, a solid state drive. No, uh, I don't need a solid state drive. Um, I just need that to finish. <laughs> and it didn't, and apparently I didn't click on Dirt 2. So I'm going to click on it again. Uh, or maybe I'll just say, play. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. Yeah, so now it's actually loading up the game. And, uh... Oh no, it might be loading up two copies of the game. That would be bad. <laughs> oh. Man, I make a 23 minute video and I have a problem there in the middle of it. It just, uh, it just drives me nuts. Oh great, so it didn't load it up full screen. That's nice. So at this point, I'm going to say... Alt F4 and terminate the game and rerun it again. So I'm going to try it again. And there we go. That's much better. Full screen, full black screen, and the game should be coming up anytime now. Oh, I'm supposed to be sitting, seeing my frame rate and stuff from I'm that, Kim uh... And this is dirt. Oh. I don't know why it's not showing that little galaxy thing in the upper left-hand corner. <sighs> On the other game it did, I don't know why it's not showing the on-screen display settings, but I can show you, uh... 
a different software where, it, where it'll show it at overclocked, but you can see it's working. I already showed you other videos of the game, of another game playing, so let me go back to that uh, extreme tune thing. And yeah, it's all checked off, and I did hit apply, so I'm going to load up uh, G GPU tune, uh, GPU uh, Z or whatever that shows information. And I'm going to switch from the Intel to the uh, other video card. And there you go. So it says the default is 675, and I changed it to 700. And the shader is 1350, and I changed it to 1400. So it is applied, and it does work. Uh, you just have to take my word for it. I mean, I could play another game. I don't know why. Usually the Galaxy will show that little thing up in the upper left-hand corner, and I did say to show that information. Maybe I didn't say okay or something. Uh, I thought I could have sworn I did. Um, but it's not showing it in that game for some reason. So, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, the power-off procedure. I hope you haven't tuned out. <laughs> I hope you're still paying attention for that. <laughs> Is you don't want to shut this off the wrong way. All right, so let me show you how I shut it off. So I'm going to tell my computer to restart. So it's going to reboot the computer. Man, I don't know if they'll let me upload this to YouTube. It's like 26 minutes long. It's almost a half an hour. It's like a TV show. <laughs> All right, so it's rebooting. Yeah, there's a little NVIDIA GTX, da 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 da. All right, so now you have to be in a place where you're not running an operating system per se, um, and the hard drive isn't being written to or anything. So now I'm back into my little uh, encryption uh, preload thing. What I'm going to do is now the video card is still running. I'm just going to shut off the 12 volt supply. So the video card stops, the display stops, uh, maybe just wait a little bit and then shut the computer off. And now it's off and this might actually be hot so be careful with it. You can just pull it out and set it aside. Turn the computer back on and voila, no more video card. Then you can boot up in safe mode, re-enable your graphics, and you're back to normal with the uh, onboard graphics. So you just don't forget to boot up in the safe mode and do that. It's a lot easier than booting up in regular mode, then enabling it, then shutting it down, then turning it back on, you know. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't forget anything. Uh, if, if you've got any questions, just send me a message or whatever. Uh, see ya. Bye.